The RCMP, meanwhile, have laid criminal charges against former Liberal MP Raj Grayall. He's facing four counts of breach of trust and one count of fraud. He left the Liberal caucus in 2018 after the Prime Minister's office said he was receiving treatment for a gambling problem. He later confirmed that addiction. I cannot put into words the shame and embarrassment that comes with this addiction. My sins are not ones based in corruption and dishonesty. They are born out of human frailty. The CBC's Salima Shivji is following the latest developments on this story. She joins us in the newsroom. Hi, Salima. Great to see you. Hey, Fashi. So, so take us through these charges, and if you can, for those of us who, it's been a while since 2018, just sort of explain the water context and, and what had happened. Yeah, that's right. We'll start with the charges, actually. So the RCMP, as you say, alleged that Raj Graywell actually, you, he used to represent Brampton East. They say that he failed to report millions of dollars in personal loans to the ethics commissioner. Now, the force says that constitutes a criminal breach of trust. But they also allege that he used used his position, his office as MP, uh, to ask for those personal loans and, and, and those loans and also his physical constituency office and that office's budget, which is funded by the government, uh, it, you know, for his own personal benefit. That, those are the charges that the RCMP are laying against him. That, according to the RCMP, is criminal fraud or breach of trust. Now, those charges, you listed them off at the top. So it's four counts of breach of trust as well as one criminal charge of criminal fraud above $5,000. And the RCMP says this all started when they were tipped off by FinTrac. Uh, that is the agency that uh, tracks suspicious financial transactions in the country, they tipped off the RCMP way back in 2017. So that's three years ago now. And that led to an investigation being started by the force. And it also led to Graywall's, uh, you know, withdrawal, he, to him leaving the Liberal caucus. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, he uh, released a video on Facebook saying that he was a compulsive gambler, saying he started, it started off for him in university when he was just casually gambling. And then it increasingly became a problem. He called it a mental health problem that he was, you know, trying to address and, and that he was getting treatment for. So he did leave the Liberal caucus. That was back in December 2018, and he did not run again uh, in that following election that following year in 2019. Uh, so he is now facing these criminal charges, uh, but that's not all Graywell has to contend with right now. He is also being looked at by the Law Society of Ontario. He is a lawyer, and so his Law Society is alleging that he defrauded some six people uh, out of money, as well as one company. And they said all of that constitutes some uh, about a million dollars. And so they are looking into a possible uh, professional misconduct by Mr. Graywell. And what is Mr. Graywell saying, if anything? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I did say he, that he mentioned uh, his problem back in, in December 2018. We have not heard from him since then. He admitted to being that compulsive gambler, but he did say at the time that he uh, was only borrowing from friends and family and that he had paid back all of those loans and that there were records and it was traceable. Uh, today, he did not want to speak to us uh, personally, but he did refer us to his lawyer, and his lawyer uh, released a statement for us. So I'll, I'll put that up on the screen for you. Uh, his lawyer says that Mr. Graywall adamantly denies these allegations, as he has done steadfastly since 20. 2018. He looks forward to having his day in court and clearing his name. So quite a succinct statement from his lawyer. The Prime Minister's office also didn't have that much to say. They just referred us to the RCMP, but they had said in the past that they were not made aware of these personal loans and of this issue, nor of the investigation uh, into Mr. Graywall uh, until, shortly uh, until shortly before he decided to leave caucus. Uh, but Graywall isn't the only former Liberal MP that is facing criminal charges. We know the case of Marwan Tarbara as well, who is facing uh, uh, charges of assault as well as uh, criminal uh, sexual harassment. Um, he now sits as an independent uh, in the uh, Kitchener riding, um, and uh, he is facing those charges. The Conservatives, the official opposition, meanwhile say that all of this is really about a pattern for the Liberals. Take a listen to Michael Barrett. There's a sustained pattern of lawbreaking with the Trudeau Liberals, and uh, we've seen uh, one former Liberal MP uh, charged with uh, assault and criminal harassment. Um, today, we've seen charges of, you know, uh, financial crimes with another Liberal MP. This week, we learned that the finance minister uh, broke elections laws, and we have the prime minister who has been found to have broken ethics laws, and there's still investigations ongoing. So uh, it's really a troubling pattern. Now, the NDP's ethics critic also says that he sees a pattern of Liberal MPs who think that the law does not apply to them. But again, it is important to note that Graywell does deny these allegations. He is expected in court on October 6th. 
Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.